Warning. This video is demonstration and educational purpose only. Mishandling life main voltage may cause injuries to body or death. Inexperienced person or electrical student, do not try this work at home or anywhere. Always call professional electrician or certified electrician to do the electrical work. Welcome everyone to Easy Electrical Fix. Today you are about to witness a fascinating demonstration of how lights can be controlled both automatically through 24 hour timer and manually using a light switch. This ingenious setup is known as 24-hour timer wiring enabling automatic control and triggering of various offload such as lights, contactors, electric motor, and more. While this combination of 24-hour automatic and manually wiring may initially appear complicated, by watching this video until the end, you will easily learn and understand the wiring process. But before we deep dive into the content, don't forget to show your support by like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Now let's embark in this enlightening journey together. Before we go into the wiring process, let's prepare the tools, cable, and the accessories for the 24-hour timer automatic and manual wiring. For tools, we're going to use Phillips head screwdriver, and flat head screwdriver. Secondly, a test pen. Third, a wire cutter. And last, a hammer. Then, let's strip for optional use, small nails, and small Philip head drywall screw. For cables, the recommended cable size for the timer is 1.5 mm. Use 1.5 mm red color wire as live wire, 1.5 mm black color wire as neutral wire, 1.5 mm green color wire as earth wire and 1.5 mm blue wire as life wire. For accessories, the main important part of this project is analog 24-hour timer for automatic control. Secondly, a one-way one-gang light switch for manual control with PVC nut box. Third, a single-phase 240-volt AC contactor. Fourth, a screw-type bulb holder and last, a screw type LED light. Now the tools, cables, and the accessories are all ready. Before we delve into the wiring process for 24-hour timer, let's first explore the specification and inner workings of the 24-hour timer system. The 24-hour timer comprises three essential components. The first component is the transparent protective cover, providing a shield for the inner mechanisms. The second component is the timer module which consists of terminal pins and relay functions. Lastly, the timer base with 5-pin terminal connection serves as the third component, offering the flexibility of installing the timer either on the DIN rail or securely screwing into the place through the holes at the back of the base. Basically, this 24-hour timer works like a wall clock. It has short hand and the long hand. Also have time numbers inside the timer. Above the clock has 24-hour time number. So this 24-hour time number will determine the on-off function of the timer. From 24-hour to 12-hour is AM or morning time. From 12-hour to 24-hour is PM or evening time. When set the on-off function to the timer, make sure set at morning time or evening time depends on your preference. Above the time number, there are on-off clips. Each clip represents 10 minutes on each line between each hour in the time number. When push the clip down to a specific time number, it will go into the off mode when it reaches the time settings. When push the clip up to a specific time number, it will go into on mode when it reaches the time settings. For example, the time is set to 10 am morning to 7.20 pm evening in on mode. From 7.20 pm evening to 10 am morning is set to off mode. This arrow shows at the timer is trigger relay. This is bypass switch and it's indicated by binary 0 and 1, where 0 represent off mode and 1 represent on mode. When spin the clock on the timer, the clip also move along with the clock. The clock will run by itself when power supply is connected, but here it's for demonstration only. Have a closer look at the trigger relay and the bypass switch. When the clip in on position hit the trigger relay, the bypass switch moved from 0 to 1. It shows the timer in on mode. After spin the clock until the on clip move away from the trigger relay, the bypass switch moved from 1 to 0. It shows the timer in off mode. At the back of the timer, you can see the relay contacts. 
These relay contacts are important to on and off or to control loads like lights, fan, electric motor and so on. Let's see how the relay contact change in on and off mode. As spin the clock in front of the timer, when the timer goes from off to on, the relay contact changes. Then spin the clock further, when timer goes from on to off, the relay contact back to normal position. This is called bypass switch. This bypass switch is used to control the timer on and off mode manually. Here's how. Turn the bypass switch anti-clockwise, the timer from off mode goes to on mode. Turn the bypass switch clockwise, the timer from on mode goes to off mode. This is how the bypass switch works to control the timer load output. Now let's see how the relay contact changes when turn the bypass switch. When turn the bypass switch from off to on mode, the relay contact changes. And when turn the bypass switch from on to off mode, the relay contact back to normal. This is how the bypass switch work in timer. Now this is the important part before do the wiring connection for the 24 hour timer. This timer base got stated the pin out wiring connection. Got 5 pin out from 1 to 5. From number 3 to 5 is called relay contacts. The number 3 is called normally closed contact. And the number 5 is called normally open contact. The number 4 contact is called common. The number 1 and 2 are power supply connection. The M in the circle stand for life neutral motor connection. This number 1 and 2 can connect to life and neutral wire or vice versa to the terminal. The operating voltage is stated 230 volt AC 50 or 60 hertz while the relay contact rating is 230 volts with 16 amps of current 16 amp of current only suitable for small load if higher load need to use contactor as switching from the relay contact now this is the timer terminal connection the number from 1 to 5 written in the timer base the number 1 and 2 is life neutral electric supply terminal the number 4 is common terminal the number 3 is normally closed terminal and the number 5 is normally open terminal now that you learn and understand how the 24 how our timer works, the timer terminal connection, and how to set the time settings in the timer. So let's begin to do the 24 hour timer wiring for automatic control first. Let's prepare the accessories on the wooden board. First, install the MCB with 20 amps rating and beside that install the connector. Then screw the PVC nut box on the wooden board, then also screw the timer base. Now that the accessories are ready, let's begin the wiring connection. First, we will do automatic timer control wiring for the lights. Let's start with the neutral wire connection first. Use a 1.5mm black wire as the neutral wire. Strip the wire and connect it to the outgoing side of the connector. From the connector, route the neutral wire into the timer base. Strip the wire again and connect the neutral wire to the number 1 terminal at the timer base. Now connect another neutral wire and do loop in connection at number 1 terminal at timer base. Then move the neutral wire from timer base to AC contactor. Connect the neutral wire at the contactor terminal label A2. Use test pen and screw it tightly the neutral wire to the AC contactor terminal A2. The neutral wiring connection for the timer and AC contactor are done. Let's move to the live wiring connection. Use 1.5mm red color wire as live wire. Strip out the wire and connect to the outgoing terminal of the MCB. Move the live wire from the MCB to the timer base. Then insert the wire into the timer base, unscrew the terminal number 2 and insert the live wire into the terminal number 2 and don't tight it first. Now make a short jumper wire by strip out the wire at both end of the jumper wire. Insert one end of the jumper wire into the terminal number 2 and tight it with both wire together. Then insert another end of the wire to the terminal number 4 known as common and screw the terminal number 4 tightly. Why should loop the wire from terminal number 2 to terminal number 4? Terminal number 2 carries the live wire which supplies electric power, while terminal number 4 serves as the common contact, which is a moving contact. This common moving contact requires electric supply from the live wire to transfer the electric power to the normally open or normally closed contact. Strip out another live wire, insert the wire into the timer base, unscrew the terminal number 5, and insert the wire into the terminal number 5 and tight it. The wire from the terminal number 5 goes to AC contactor terminal A1. Strip out the wire and connect the wire to the contactor terminal A1 tightly. Now the control wiring for the automatic control timer for the light is complete. Let's proceed with the main wiring. Connecting the incoming life neutral supply to the AC contactor and the light. Use 1.5mm life and neutral wire and strip out the both of the wire. 
Unscrew the outgoing terminal of the MCB. Loop in the live main wire at the outgoing of the MCB. Then screw it tightly both of the live wire. Do the same to the neutral wire. Unscrew the connector and loop in the neutral main wire together with the neutral control wire. Then screw it tightly. Bring the both live and neutral main wire together and arrange the wire nicely on the board. Then bring the both wire to the AC contactor. Cut the both live neutral wires and strip out the insulation from the both wires. Unscrew the terminal number 1 on the AC contactor and connect the live main wire to the terminal number 1. Then tighten it. Similarly, unscrew the terminal number 3 and connect the neutral main wire to the terminal number 3. Then tighten it. Prepare 1.5 mm live neutral earth wire for the light wiring connection. Strip out each of the wire insulation to connect at the screw tap bulb holder. At the back of the bulb holder got live neutral earth terminal. Connect the live wire to the live bulb holder terminal. Connect the earth wire to the earth bulb holder terminal. And connect the neutral wire to the neutral bulb holder terminal. Attach the drywall screw to the bulb holder. Then screw the bulb holder on both sides to the wooden board. Cut the live bulb holder wire in short and strip out the wire insulation. Then connect the live bulb holder wire to the AC contactor terminal number 2 and screw it tightly. Cut the neutral bulb holder wire in short and strip out the wire insulation. Then connect the neutral bulb holder wire to the AC contactor terminal number 4 and screw it tightly. The main wiring connection between the AC contactor and the light bulb holder is done. For the earth wire at the bulb holder, Move the earth wire to the connector and arrange the wire nicely. Strip out the earth wire insulation and connect the earth wire to the earth connector beside the neutral wire. After done the main and the control wiring for the timer, put in the timer module on the timer base and put two screw on each corner. Then screw it tightly the screw to make sure the timer sit properly on the timer base. At the connector and the incoming of the MCB, connect the incoming earth wire to the earth connector. Connect the incoming neutral wire to the neutral connector and connect the incoming live wire to the incoming terminal of the MCB and screw all the terminal tightly. Now let's set the time in the timer. For demonstration, set the time to control the light from 5 pm to 12 am. Make sure adjust the clip correctly to hit the trigger relay. Also the timer must be in off position. Screw the LED stick light to the bulb holder. Now the main and control wiring is ready. Let's test the circuit. Turn on the MCB, the on time setting is set and rotate the clock clockwise direction to simulate the timer operation. In normal operation, the timer clock will run by itself when power supply is connected. As you look closely, when the clip hit the trigger relay in given on time setting, the timer normally open contact become normally closed and send the electric supply to the AC contactor to light up the LED light. Now the time is 5 pm in the timer clock and it's light up the LED light as per on the time setting. As you see, the clip hit the trigger relay and the bypass switch indicate shows the timer in on mode. Now spin the timer clock until reach at 12 am. The timer normally close contact back to normally open and the electric supply cut off the AC contactor and the LED light is off. Now the trigger relay is released the time is above 12 am and the bypass switch indicator show the timer in off mode. Now let's test the bypass switch function. Spin the bypass switch to on mode. The LED light is light up. Spin the bypass switch to off mode. The LED light is off. So this is how the bypass switch function in the timer. So far you understand and learn how to do timer wiring for automatic control. Let's do some changes in the circuit. Now let's control the light manually by the light switch and automatically by the timer. Let's do it. First, turn off the MCB, then unscrew the timer screw located on both corners of the timer. After unscrew the timer, take out the timer module from the timer base. At the timer base terminal, unscrew the terminal number 2, number 4, and number 5, then disconnect the jumper wire and the AC contactor wire. Insert 1.5 mm live wire into the nut box and let it go into the timer base. Cut the wire. Insert a second 1.5 mm live wire into the nut box and let it go into the timer base. Cut the wire and strip off the insulation from the both live wires. Next, insert a blue color 1.5 mm wire into the nut box and let it go into the timer base and cut the blue wire. Now we have the end of the three wires in the nut box and the other end of the three wires at the timer base. Now connect the blue wire at terminal number 5 at the timer base 
Then strip out the life wire and connect the wire at the terminal number 2, which is life electric supply wire and screw the both wire tightly. At the nut box, these life wire are connected to the terminal number 2. Cut the both blue wire and the life wire together and strip out the both wire insulation. Join the blue wire and the life wire by twist the copper wire together. Only one life wire left at the timer base. Strip out the life wire insulation and connect the wire at terminal number 3 as normally close contact. Then connect the AC contact wire at terminal number 4 which is common contact. After done the wiring connection, arrange the wire nice and neatly in the timer base. Now the automatic and manual wiring connection at the timer base is done. The blue wire is the life electric supply looping wire from the terminal number 2. The terminal number 4 wire connected from the AC contactor and the terminal number 3 wire is connected to the light switch. Now at the nut box got one wire left and strip out the wire insulation. Connect the blue wire joint to the life wire and connect it securely to the common terminal of the light switch. Then tightly screw the wire in place. Next, fold the copper wire and connect the life wire which is already connected to the terminal number 3 to the L1 terminal of the light switch. Finally, screw it tightly. After the light switch connection is done, put the light switch on the nut box and insert nut box screw on both sides and screw the light switch to the nut box tightly. Put in the timer module to the timer base and screw it tightly on both sides. Turn on the MCB to test the circuit. Before that, make sure the timer must be in off mode. Let's test the manual control first. Turn on the light switch, the LED light is on and light up. This is because the light switch is connected to normally close contact and will remain normally close until the timer take control automatically after reach the time setting. Turn off the light switch and let's test the automatic control. Spin the time clock until the clip reach at the trigger relay and the LED light is on and light up. The switch is remain off. Spin the timer clock until the clip move away from the trigger relay and the light is off. Now spin the timer clock to on the LED light in automatic method. The LED light is on and light up. When turn on the light switch when control the light manually but it didn't affect the LED light or the AC contactor. This is because the light switch connected to the normally closed contact and then become normally open when the timer in on mode. After the timer goes in off mode, then only can operate the light switch to control the light manually. So as we reach the conclusion of this demonstration on automatic and manual wiring for the timer, let's recap what you have learned. From the beginning until now, you have gained through understanding of how the 24 hour timer operates, its various function and the automatic manual wiring techniques used to control loads such as light. This project which combines automatic timer control and manual light switch control has proven to be resounding success. Everything is functioning flawless without any hiccups. Hopefully you acquire some valuable knowledge today. Now it's your turn to take action. Show your appreciation by like, share and comment your thoughts in the comment section below this tutorial video. Let me know what the upcoming videos you like me to see create. Additionally, you can find the wiring diagram for this automatic and manual timer wiring in the link provided in the video description. Remember, your support means the world to me. So don't forget to subscribe this channel. As a wrap up this video, I want to express my gratitude for your time and attention. Thanks for watching and keep the current flowing. I will see you in the next electrifying video filled with more captivating electrical content.